welcome back to the Benedict Challenge. Today I want to talk more about collations. These are these small meals that the monastic communities allowed themselves uh, during, on fasting days as a way to ease the burden somewhat. And in modern times, people have discovered this variation on the collation known as bulletproof coffee. You might have heard of Dave Asprey, the bulletproof executive, putting butter in his coffee or tea and he actually discovered this when he visited Tibet, found that people living uh, near Mount Everest actually used this mixture of yak butter blended into their tea as a way to, to get these super benefits of being fat adapted and having energy without eating solid food. The beauty of bulletproof coffee or tea is that it's high fat but extremely low carb and low protein. So it's not gonna kick you out of ketosis and it won't break autophagy so you can get most of the benefits of fasting without any of the downsides of hunger. Now, I'm not doing coffee uh, this Lent, but I am drinking my berries tea, Irish breakfast tea. And today happens to be St. Patrick's Day, so I'm going all out on the green theme. I've got my Kerrygold Pure Irish Grass-Fed Butter, and I've got my berries tea, which has already been steeping in my green mug. And I think that this should be plenty strong enough for me, so I'm just gonna pull these tea bags out. Now you can use a blender, you can use a stick blender or a traditional blender. MCT oil is another thing that's recommended. This is a, a purified version of coconut oil. Either one works, and these have other health benefits. I actually tend to skip the MCT oil. I prefer to just go the straight dairy route. Maybe one tablespoon, two tablespoons at the most of fat is probably uh, an appropriate amount. So as you can see it's a pretty healthy size pad of butter there. That's about one tablespoon of butter. Just gonna pop that in, let it melt. And I've also got a little bit of cream just to help the butter blend in a little bit better and also improve the taste a little bit. You have to be careful with cream because it does contain a small amount of sugar. Mm. Now my little secret hack involves using this Contigo as my blender. I don't like to get an extra dish dirty, so I just screw that lid on, make sure it's extremely tight, and that the lid is closed if you're gonna do this, because I've done it before where there's a little gap and you've just got uh, steam flying all over the place. And then you shake it. Shake, shake, shake. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. All right, that should be enough. And now, I can drink a little bit at a time, it'll stay warm, and this will be good to go throughout the day, something that I can have. Keep that even keel, that sense of composure, not a sudden spike in caffeine, and not a sudden spike of insulin either. So, let me know how you prefer your bulletproof coffee if you try this. Do you like it with the coconut oil, the MCT oil, cream, butter, whatever it may be, experiment until you find a ritual that you enjoy.